Hello YouTubers, it's uh, Artyom again. I wanted to uh, to tell you about my project. I'm working uh, on a quadcopter. Actually, that's the second time I'm uh, working on it. The first time uh, I just uh, had no not not enough time to complete it. So uh, this time I hope I will uh, have enough time because it's a uh, tremendous uh, work because I'm uh, not uh, buying any of those uh, uh, flight controller kits or uh, other kits I'm uh, building all from scratch so uh, today I want to show you my um, flight controller prototype and uh, the remote control which basically um, originally was uh, just a USB flight simulator that I bought from eBay and I uh, converted it to uh, fully functional uh, 2.4 GHz uh, transmitter so um, basically I used a peak microcontroller Just zoom in. So you can see um, here that the transceiver, it's NRF twenty four O. Excuse me, L O one, I think plus. You have you can buy this uh, transceiver for about a few bucks. It's not uh, not very expensive. Here you can see this board with a microchip microcontroller on it and basically what it does I just read the, the voltage from the pots on each channel and just uh, building a packet with the information and uh, send it to, to the flight controller uh, very easy not not big deal the range of this one is actually in open space about uh, 50 meters maybe maybe a bit a, a bit uh, more so for the testing purposes it's it's why it's quite okay i ordered also a more powerful version of this transmitter with with um, power amplifier it uh, can deliver up to I think uh, 100 milliwatts. So it's ra it's ra it range uh, must be about uh, one kilometer or so. So in the future, when I will complete all the testing and I will assemble the the unit, I will install the new transmitters. So basically, that's all. It's what's inside. I have a few switches here to add some functionality some another some two buttons and uh, that's it that's not uh, the interesting part oops so here i have a diagram i draw a diagram of this um, remote control and in just a few minutes I want to explain it to you so basically here you have the microcontroller and um, it reads the analog inputs from four pots and also four bits excuse me it's uh, two bits two bits from switch one, two bits from uh, switch zero and one bit from uh, button zero and uh, one bit from button one it reads all this then uh, you have the NRF 24LO1 plus transceiver which I spoke about it connects the, via SPI to the microcontroller here you have a 3.3 volt 
voltage regulator because uh, the NRF works on uh, 3.3 volts. The supply for the microcontroller is uh, 5 volts. You have a small speaker for a signal for the uh, signals, beeps and stuff. Here you have um, UART which connects to the computer and, and I can uh, debug the software uh, or uh, value or see the values of the potentiometers or the buttons everything I want here I have a battery monitor it's just uh, an analog input pin that monitors the with the voltage divider that monitors the the battery uh, in the in circuit serial, serial programming um, and the two LEDs which one uh, indicates the power state and the other one is uh, transmitting it lights up uh, only when I'm uh, transmitting data so basically that is the block diagram uh, from all the channels and the buttons I construct a uh, a packet which consists of a uh, ID byte just a random ID byte um, not random actually it's a, it's a constant byte 0 through byte 4 it's a total 6 bytes so each byte delivers uh, its own uh, data this is byte 0, byte 1, byte 2, byte 3 and the, the switches are uh, 6 bits but uh, I'm still using 1 byte uh, because uh, you can transmit less than 1 byte that basically it ok let's go now to the flight controller the flight controller looks like this Zoom a little bit. As you can see, it's uh, made on a custom PCB. I also made the, the PCB for it. So you have uh, again the transceiver. Here is the uh, gyroscope. Uh, it's called IMU, internal measurement unit. My measuring unit and uh, it's working on uh, at 8 9 degrees of freedom it has a accelerometer a gyro a magnetometer and um, what's what else no actually that's it three axes uh, for each measurement chip I mean Three, uh, three axes is accelerometer, three axes is uh, gyro, and uh, three axes is magnetometer. Currently, I'm, uh, I'm using only the accelerometer and the gyro. Magnetometer, I will use uh, a bit later in the next uh, versions of uh, of the software. And um, you have also here a few inputs, auxiliary inputs. You can connect uh, anything to this also can be an output doesn't matter and here you have a um, servo outputs this is PWM output outputs uh, seven of them and uh, I connect can connect them to any anything uh, which accepts PWM signal like a servo or a, s a motor speed controller everything here you have uh, UART and uh, in circuit uh, serial programming. A few LED indication LEDs, uh, some passives, a uh, crystal there of uh, 24 megahertz. On the other side, you see the the microcontroller itself, uh, low dropout voltage regulator for the NRF transceiver. And this small chip is a PWM um, controller. It's a PCA in, in 9685 
uh, really useful one because first I wanted to generate the PWM signals with the PIC microcontroller but um, then I uh, thought a little more about it and came to a conclusion that a dedicated chip for this would be more efficient in terms of um, processing um, and data processing in the peak because the peak needs to do stabilization and handle um, many other tasks that require require uh, CPU time intensive CPU time and I just uh, can't afford uh, to myself to to lose uh, more for PWM generation so I uh, found this small chip it's uh, it's also it's re really cheap so it's not not a problem it's al also programmable uh, you can read in the data sheet it can be programmed for um, for different frequencies for uh, it's a 16 channel PWM it can be programmed for uh, different frequencies uh, duty cycles from 0 to 100 um, you can play with it it's a really nice chip so um, that's it uh, let me connect it to the power I will show you how it works oh, before that I will show you the, the block diagram so it's uh, almost the same as the trans as the remote control it's, uh, based on the same peak peak uh, 18 uh, 4331 just uh, had uh, a few a few of uh, those uh, handy and uh, you have a UART as, as in the previous diagram in circuit uh, serial programming also it supplied with the 5 volts from in the motor controller and it has uh, some inputs or outputs it has uh, the IMU which uh, connects with the I square C to the microcontroller it has the NRF transceiver which connects with the, with the SPI and you have um, the PWM controller as I said it's PCA8 uh, 9685 and it has uh, 16 PWM outputs each of them uh, is uh, fully and independent from uh, one another. Currently, I'm running at uh, 50 Hz PWM frequency and uh, one millisecond to two milliseconds uh, pulse. That's uh, what the um, speed controller and the servos as, uh, are um, getting in their their specifications. So that's it. Uh, you have also 3.3 volt uh, regulator for the NRF, and uh, that's it. That's really simple. Okay, so let me just connect it to the power supply. Uh, excuse me, to the battery. I have here a battery. So. turn on the remote okay now I have um, in the stat controller right now um, a software that works with the, the gyro that moves the move uh, the servo each servo moves uh, accordingly to each uh, axis of the gyro so if I move uh, z-axis for example you see the one this moves if I move in other axis for example I don't know it's x or y the other one moves and the channel 0 I have connected to the um, to the speed controller of the brushless motor 
and I can control it uh, with my remote control as you will see now let me hold it works pretty well also I can control e each server with its own uh, channel Oops, that's one. Yeah. so um, basically that is the prototype right now I hope to uh, will have enough time to finish it uh, soon. Now post uh, and I will post another video. How uh, is my progress? Um, another thing I started to to make a frame for the quadcopter, and I'm uh, just started with the, the booms. I have four of them. It's. Uh, 250 millimeters in length and uh, I'm thinking about uh, on the center plate how it will be connected so uh, but that's uh, a bit later I will uh, I will work on it right now I'm uh, concentrated on the flight controller okay guys that's um, that was a small introduction to my uh, project. I hope um, you liked it and uh, ask questions, write comments. Always uh, happy to see um, some cool ideas that I can, uh, what can, what I can improve, and uh, maybe I will get new ideas from you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.